Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at different uses of targeting pod. In particular, you're using it with laser guided bombs, laser guided mavericks, and also the LSS mode or laser spot search mode of the targeting pod. Let's get started. Alright, so the uh, first system we're going to take a look at in this video today is uh, laser guided bombs with the targeting pod uh, GVUs. And we have a couple uh, GVU 16s loaded that we're going to go ahead and use the targeting pod to designate. So we've got an 83LG, and we're going to be dropping these just like an auto release as we learned to do earlier with the JTAC. So we'll go mode to auto, M fuse will go off because the secret's in the nose, uh, E fuse will go instantaneous. Now the code. Your push button one will come over to the USC and we'll input the same code that we're going to designate on with the pod. So today we'll go 1747 and we see the code here. Uh, now, next, because we're going to be laser designating for this, we're going to have to come back to the sensor panel here and we have the LTDR or laser target designator ranger. We'll set that to arm and we do that now. Uh, we have a trigger option which will allow us to manually uh, laser the target as well as a USC option which we can uh, type in the designation code. In this case as we talked before, we'll type it in at 1747, enter. So now both the, uh, the pod code and the bomb code uh, match up so we're good to go. Uh, next step, let's take a look, find that target. So we'll scroll down TGP. Bonder Boss Airfield, let's find a nice juicy hangar. That looks good. Field to view in. Uh, looks good. So we don't need a point track on this. So the first thing we'll do is, as we learned with the GPS weapons, we'll go ahead and set a target point on that by depressing uh, the TDC switch. And now you can see that just set up an auto attack. And we're 15 seconds out. So I'll fly to align the Velocity vector over the ASL, bomb key coming down, open trigger down, and bomb away. And we have a time to impact of 42 seconds. So now I'm going to hold the trigger down to fire the laser. Now you notice we have an LTDR indication on the display indicating that the laser is firing. seconds to impact. And again, holding down the trigger the entire time to fire the laser. And we're passing over the target now. And impact. So you can, as you can see, using uh, laser guided bombs with the targeting pod is super easy and super convenient uh, being able to self designate so now let's take a look at laser mavericks. Okay, so we're heading to Albemousa and we have an SA-13 SA to take out uh, with a laser maverick. We're going to use a targeting pod to designate a uh, laser designate uh, for us. So we'll go to our laser maverick. We'll set our code first. Let's so go to USC. Code. I will keep it the standard 1688. Both are set. And we'll go ahead and select it again and uh, we'll set it to TDC control and we'll uncage it and let it start searching. Now coming over to the pod, we'll put TDC on the pod now and we'll scroll down, uh, look for our target, near field of view, there it is. Uh, zoom in a bit. Okay, good track. And now what we'll do is we'll do a trigger on a TDC depressed to set the target. So it designated it. And automatically the Maverick saw it during the search and locked onto it. So now we have uh, about 10 seconds to go to time to maximum range. OK, 
Okay, in range. Now I'm going to fire the laser by holding the trigger down. Maverick is locked, and now press the weapon release button to launch the missile. And I'm continuing to hold the trigger down uh, to release that target. As you can see, we have the LTDR uh, indication on the TGP page. any second impact so that's how you use the uh, target pod to designate a uh, target for the laser maverick uh, finally today we'll take a look at laser spot search mode or LSS mode okay so the uh, third element we'll talk about today is uh, laser spot search mode or LSS mode and this is a pretty cool function of the pod that allows it to search out there for a certain laser frequency that will then lock onto it that allow you then to set that target as a target point and uh, once we have that we'll go ahead and drop a couple of CPUs on their head so let's set up the weapon first we've got a couple of uh, Mark 20s so we'll do a CCIP drop and fuse will be variable time with a height of 1500 feet there's no e-fuse, we'll turn that off uh, bomb set up, actually let's add a, another one so we'll go dose And now in the pod, let's go ahead and uh, find the general area where we think the target's going to be located. Yeah, right around this area here. And we'll go ahead and we'll do a depress on the uh, TC to set that as a target point. Now down the sensor panel, we're going to go ahead and activate the LST slash um, uh, navigation clear for a laser spot tracker, which is what we're going to be doing. So set this to on. We also see we have the LSS already set to 1688. So let's talk to JTAC now and have him designate a target for us. X-Men, 1-1. One, one. This is 3-1-1-1. One, one, one. It's A-18. Delta, Quebec, 3-3-9-4. Three, three, 15,000. I have Mark 20. 600 gun. Time on station is 0 plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? So note that we designate 1688, which is what we have our LSS set up to. Ready to copy remarks. Use cannon. Final attack heading 150280. Wind 070 at 5 meters per second. Partly cloudy sky. Cloud base 15,000 feet. MSL. No, I will not be using cannon. 20. Delta, Quebec, 0, 4, 9, 9, 7, 8. Final attack heading 1, 5, 0, 2, 8, 0. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. 3, 1, 1. IP inbound. 3, 1, 1. Continue. 3, 1, 1. Laser on. Laser on. Okay, with Laser. the laser on now, we can go ahead and activate the LSS mode and have it start searching. When it does that, it's going to freeze the video. Uh, that's normal. It's uh, searching now at that location.
that locked on one of the targets. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and press again on the uh, depress on the TDC, and that'll set that point as our new target point. At this point, we can go ahead and roll on this target. So right now I'm set up for an auto attack. But what I can do is I can do the undesignate button yeah, once I see that target visually and then go to a CCIP attack. Can't see it now. Undesignate. Altitude. Altitude. Way. Shift. and right on target so you can see using the LSS mode uh, with the designator and the pod is a very handy item anyhow folks I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing those new three items and I'll talk to you later thanks